Do you need to be a nerd to like The Mandalorian? Yes. <laughs> Let's break that question down a bit more. So, it has three major parts. Nerd, like, and Mandalorian. Starting with The Mandalorian, The Mandalorian is basically a spin-off TV show of the popular sci-fi series Star Trek. I'm sorry, I mean Looney Tunes. But what defines a nerd? That's the second part of the technically the first, but we're not going in order. And to this self-proclaimed nerd, thank you very much, um, they are split into different categories, you have different types of nerds. So, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to define nerds as three different types. A weeb, a nerd, and a geek. Um, I'm sorry if any of this offends you. Nerds. As you can see, a weeb is essentially someone who really, really likes anime. For a nerd, um, a nerd and a geek are a bit more interchangeable. Um, so we're just going to kind of throw a bunch of different hobbies under this. According to um, Ranker.com, the most objective source, a nerd and a geek enjoy stuff like playing video games, reading books, <laughs> role-playing, nerdy stuff. Now, as someone who has never, ever, ever played a video game, I think I can avoid this bracket. Allow us to define what it means to like something. Now, I was originally going to define it as the amount of times you turn to the camera and say, ooh, that's really cool, while like experiencing something, but I feel like a lot of people don't really do that, so we're not going to use that. I did a bit more research and I decided on using happiness hormones as our way of figuring out how much you like something, because surely something you like should bring you happiness. Now, there are four different types of hormones. You have serotonin, um, which is a mood stabilizer, well-being and happiness. Uh, dopamine, which is pleasure, motivational role and brain's reward system. Please excuse me, I'm looking down at my notes because I like hell I remember this. Um, oxytonin, bonding, love, trust. And endorphins, which bring you pain's relief, runner's high and relaxation. Now, if we're putting these in terms of watching something like The Mandalorian, we need to essentially eliminate one because I don't really see how bonding love and trust is something you're going to get over the course of watching The Mandalorian. But we can use the other three, serotonin, dopamine and endorphins. Basically what we're going to be doing is while I'm watching the first episode of The Mandalorian for the first ever time, because again, I am not a nerd, we're going to be counting every single time I feel happiness every single time I feel pleasure, and every single time I feel relaxation. Then we'll add that all up together to get our happiness points, or HP, an acronym that's never been used for anything else, and something I wouldn't know because I'm not a nerd. I am a jock. I am an alpha male. Without further ado, I'm gonna go watch The Mandalorian, and I'll be right back in however many minutes the first episode is. Whoa, that Mandalorian guy was really crazy, am I right? So let's look at the amount of points that the Mandalorian racked up to do with my happiness hormones. Oh boy, that's not very good. Yeah, so unfortunately, I didn't really like the Mandalorian episode one, um, which isn't, isn't great for our stats. As you can tell, I only um, felt pleasure and happiness once, and that's when Baby Yoda showed up. So, uh, that's, that's not great. So, taking these stats, and knowing that I'm the perfect example of someone who is not a nerd, I guess we can assume that you do need to be a nerd to like The Mandalorian. That's not where I expected this video to go at all. Yes. So, if you're a jock and an alpha male, and you're thinking, maybe I should check out this Mandalorian business, don't.